welcome to another segment of Training Tip Tuesday. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of conditioning your dog to the collar grab. Did you know that one of the most common situations that people get bit is by grabbing a dog's collar? It shouldn't be surprising. The sudden movement can look scary and stronger-minded dogs might protest the sudden loss in freedom. This is why I like to spend some time teaching my dog that a collar grab means that good things happen. As a side bonus, it's also a great way to teach your dog to stay with you if you have one that likes to play the haha -ha game. You know, the game where your dog comes to you when you call, stops about four feet in front of you, and then when you try to grab his collar, he darts out of the way neatly and takes off again. If you haven't played it, I don't recommend it. It's highly aggravating, although your dog might think otherwise. For most dogs, I teach this at the same time I'm teaching the come to prevent the haha -ha game from starting up in the first place. Once your dog comes to you, offer a handful of food in front of his nose just before grabbing the collar at the same time. Teach him to pair your reach towards him with good things happening. If your dog already has a history of playing the haha -ha game, you may need to stay at the pairing phase for longer to rebuild his trust and recondition his mind that coming to you means better things happening than him running away. Arnie from our demo dog program was notorious for playing this game. That's why I spend a lot of time teaching him the collar grab during his time with me. If you're struggling with a dog that tends to run off as soon as you reach for him when he's close, give this training a try and let us know how it works for you and your dog. Did you find this training tip useful? Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more free training tips every Tuesday.